Good day everyone, we are now going to discuss about commission from business math from analyze math. Let's unscramble these letters. I will give you two minutes to answer. Now the first one is commission, the second one is salary, the third one is sales quota, the fourth one is straight commission, and the fifth one is gross earnings. Commission It is a fee paid to an agent or employee for transacting a piece of business or performing a service. Examples A sales agent earns a basic monthly salary of 20,000 pesos and is paid 5% commission on all his or her sales for the month. If he or she sold 50,000 pesos for the month, his or her gross earnings and the commission will be Gross earnings is equal to basic salary plus commission so that would be 20,000 pesos plus 5% of 50,000 pesos that would be 20,000 pesos plus the 5% of 50,000 pesos is 2,500 pesos so the total would be 22,500 pesos plain commission agents earn commission only. They are not paid any salary. Therefore, they exert their best effort to increase their sales because the more they sell, the more they earn. Example, GN is a sales agent for Win Realty. She is paid based on commission only. She is given 4% commission on her sales. For the current month, her sales were 1,048,200 pesos. How much would be her commission? So the total sales is 1,048,200 pesos and the commission rate is 4%. So that would be 0.04. So 1,048,200 pesos multiplied by the commission rate which is 0.04 so the gross earnings would be 41,000 
928 pesos. Let's have another example. Christian is a Chevrolet car sales agent. He is paid commission only at the rate of 3.5%. For the current month, he sold two cars totaling 1,475,000 pesos. How much is his commission? So the total sales is 1,475,000. The commission rate is 3.5% or 0.035. When we multiply 1,475,000 to 0.035, we will get 51,625 pesos, which is his gross earnings. Commission and Salary A salesman is given a basic salary in addition to the, to the commission. Thus, his or her gross earning is equal to gross earnings is equal to basic salary plus commission. Let's have an example. Chrysler Imata is a sales representative earning a basic salary of 18,000 pesos a month plus 3% commission on his sales exceeding his quota of 15,000 pesos. Let's assume that he made a total sales of 36,000 pesos for the current month. Find his gross earnings. Given basic salary is equal to 18,000 pesos, the commission rate is 3% or 0.03. The sales quota above 15,000 pesos and the total sales is 36,000 pesos. Solution. So that gross earnings is equal to basic salary plus commission. That is 18,000 pesos plus 0 0.03 multiplied by 36,000 pesos minus 15,000 pesos. That is because we are going to get the sales quota which is above 15,000 pesos. So, 18,000 pesos plus 0 0.03 multiplied by 21,000 pesos. So, that is 18,000 pesos plus 3% um, of 21,000 pesos is 630. So, we will get 18,630 pesos. Overrides. For people who have people under them, Doing the sales, overrides are given by their companies in addition to their basic salary. Sales or marketing managers earn overrides. Example, Joella is a product manager with four sales representatives under her. The company gives her an annual salary of 135,000 pesos commission of 4% on her own sales, an override of 1.5% on her men's sales. Find her gross earnings for the month if her total sales is 365,000 pesos with her men selling a total of 1,345,000 for the month. Given Annual salary is equal to 135,000. Commission is equal to 4% of her own sales and override of 1/2% of her men's sales. Now let's compute for the basic salary. 135,000 divided by 12 months which is equal to 11,250 pesos per month. Then commission is equal to 4% of the sales, so that is 0 0.04 multiplied by 365,000, so that is 14,600 pesos. Now the override is 1.5% of the men's sales, so that is 0.5% of 
1,345,000. So that is 0 0.005 multiplied by 1,345,000. So that is 6,725. Now the gross earnings is equal to 11,250 plus 14,600 plus 6,725. So that is 32,575 pesos. So the gross earnings is equal to 32,575 pesos. Now let's have another example. Gregorio is a straight commission salesman. He is given a commission on the basis of the following schedule. Less than 30,000 is equal to 1%. Thirty thousand one to fifty thousand that is two percent. Fifty thousand one to seventy thousand that is three percent, and seventy thousand one and above that is, that is four percent. Now compute for his commission, assuming his total sales are twenty thousand five hundred, thirty thousand seven hundred eighty nine, sixty eight thousand eight. And finally, 90,502. Number 1, 20,500. So this is less than 30,000 pesos. So the commission is 1% of 20,500. So that is 0 0.01 multiplied by 20,500. So that is 205 pesos. Number 2. 30,789 So this is between 30,001 and 50,000 So the commission is 2% of 30,789 So that is 0.02 multiplied by 30,789 So that is 615.78 pesos Number 3, 68,008. So this is between 50,001 and 70,000. So the commission is 3% of 68,008. So that is 0 0.03 multiplied by 68,008. So the commission is 2,040.24. Number 4. 90,502. So this is between um, 70,001 and above. So the commission is 4% of 90,502. So that is 0 0.04 multiplied by 90,502. So the commission is 3,620.08. Now let's have the last example. Jem Banivas is paid a basic salary of 9,400 a month plus commission on all sales above quota of 30,000 a month according to the following schedule. Compute for her gross earning if she sells a total of 75,360 for the past month. 1% for the first 20,000 2% for the next 20,000 and 3% on sales above quota exceeding the foregoing 40,000 pesos. Now here is the solution. Her basic salary is 9,400 pesos. The sales is 75,360. Sales quota is 30,000. And let's find the gross earnings. The solution, let's first solve for the commission. The total sales is 75,360 pesos, less quota of 30,000 pesos. So the sales subject to commission is 45,360 pesos. In the first 20,000, so it is um, multiplied by 1%. So that is equal to 200 pesos. Now the next is 20,000 
pesos multiplied by 2%, that would be 400 pesos. Now, the balance is 5,360 multiplied by 3%, that is equal to 160,080. Now, the co total commission is 760.80. Let's add the basic salary, which is equal to 9,400 pesos. Now, the gross earnings are 10,160 .80. Now, here is the reference from Valde Wesa Nanet M. Shendi P. Waminal and Familia S. Saging 2020 Business Mathematics, Cagayan de Oro City, DepEd Bureau of Learning Resources. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please subscribe to Analyze Math for more content.